When it rains, it pours. Oppo is the latest brand to launch a new phone in India and their first phone of 2018 is the A83. It focuses on the strong points of Oppo, which is a selfie-centric camera setup, but also adds in two of the most emerging trends from last year, that is a taller 18-9 display and a face unlock feature. This is Sandeep from Rev Atlas, let's see what the latest phone in the Oppo A series has to offer. In terms of design, the phone looks pretty much identical to its larger brother, the Oppo F5. They share similar looking design elements at the front as well as at the back. However, the overall footprint is a tad bit smaller due to a smaller screen size and the weight is marginally lesser too. The one weird quirk I found about the design of the A83 is that the front display and fascia stick out from the body itself. This feels a bit weird to use ergonomically speaking as it disrupts the flow of the curved body. However, maybe we'll get used to it with usage. The display is a large 5.7 inch unit with HD plus 1440 by 720 pixels of resolution due to the 18 to 9 aspect ratio. The display doesn't seem to lack on sharpness despite the lower resolution and the colors are nice too. However, the sunlight legibility seems to be affected by the reflective display. There's no Corning Gorilla Glass on board, but Oppo did give a pre-installed clear plastic screen protector and a hard plastic case in the box. You'll be quick to notice the omission of a fingerprint scanner on board this thing. Even smartphones as low as Rs. 4999 now come with fingerprint scanners and you may be disappointed hearing that the A83 doesn't have one. However, Oppo say that the reason for this is because it has facial unlock. If you have tried out a OnePlus device, you might be familiar with how it works. You just need to register your face by keeping it steady and at a specified distance. Once done, you're good to go and you can unlock the phone just by looking at it. As simple as that. I used to look down upon facial unlocking with the iPhone 10, but OnePlus showed us how it can be done right and the A83 uses a similar implementation that bypasses the lock screen altogether and unlocks instantaneously if you have the position right. A fingerprint scanner would have still been appreciated, but at least this feature makes us miss it much lesser. The phone supports dual band Wi-Fi and comes with a triple slot that houses two nano SIM slots and a micro SD card slot. There's just one variant to keep things simple. A MediaTek MT6763T octa-core powered device with 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage. It comes with Android 7.1 Nougat with Color OS 3.2 on top of it. Coming to the main highlight of the device, the 13 megapixel f2.2 rear camera and the 8 megapixel f2.2 camera. They support portrait modes as well as HDR and Beautify functionality on both cameras. We'll be doing a full flash camera review soon, but until then, here is a taste of things to come. Lastly, you have a 3180mAh battery that can be recharged via the micro USB port and bundle 5V 2A charger. I was a bit skeptical when I saw the launch of the A83, however after using it so far, I'm pretty impressed by the facial unlock and also the quality of the cameras. It seems promising and we'll give our final verdict in the review. The A83 will set you back Rs 13,990 when it launches in both offline as well as online markets on Jan 20th in black and gold colors. We'll include a purchase link in the description below. Please do stay tuned for more content on the Oppo 83 soon. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next one.